community group leaders and teachers. I hope you all are doing well, having a fabulous day. Hey, I'm excited. I get to introduce the Pastor's Cup for this week. Pastor Chris wrote the Pastor's Cup for this week, exploring Philippians chapter 3, verses 1 through 11. Probably one of my personal favorite passages of Scripture because in it you see some of Paul's most passionate language. Paul describes his past, how, how he considers that garbage compared to the surpassing greatness of knowing Jesus. He literally describes this pursuit of Jesus as worth giving up everything. Ivy League education, giving up status as a Pharisee, giving up all kinds of things worth boasting in, because the only thing worth boasting in is boasting in Jesus and running after Him. And so in Philippians chapter 3, Paul says, I want to know Jesus. I want to know the power of His resurrection. I want to share in the fellowship of His sufferings to somehow attain resurrection from the dead. I love that passage. There's so many great things in there. Now, there's one thing that Paul or that Chris doesn't address in the passage, and that specifically is this concept of, of running after Jesus and then suffering in the middle of all that to, to know Jesus, know the power of His resurrection, to share in the fellowship of His sufferings to somehow attain resurrection from the dead. And that might be something that's worth discussing in your community group as well as you're talking about what it means to run after Jesus, what it means to forget what lies in the past, what it means to boast in Jesus over and against anything and everything else. It might be worth also mentioning, why does Paul include this passage about knowing Jesus but then sharing in the sufferings of Jesus? Good conversation for community groups. But hey, I am praying for you that you have a great time in your group this week. I am praying that, that you have great conversations and above all else, that, that you and your community group collectively run after Jesus more passionately because of this text. Hey, I hope you have a great day. God bless.